I am Anil Kumar and with the help of few videos we will understand the concept of completing squares. The question here is how can you solve the quadratic equation x square plus 6x minus 1 equals to 0. Now our instincts will tell us that uh, well we should keep variables on one side and the constants on the other side. So if we do what we get here is x square plus 6x equals to 1. Now at this stage we really get stuck. We have x square plus 6x equals to 1. There are two x's and they are of different degrees. So it becomes really difficult for us to solve such an equation. Now we will understand the concept of completing the squares first. Apply that concept and then solve. Okay. So let me show you geometrically how we can represent the left side. x square is kind of a square. Uh, whose sides are x, right? So this is my square which represents x square. So this is x square for us. And that really means that each side of this square is of x units, right? So these are sides of x units. It gives me an area of x square. Now, 6x, x is length and width of the square. If I take a unit which is 6 units, in that case this let's say 3 units this time. So 3 on this side and 3 on this side, then it becomes 6 in all, right? So what I'm trying to say here is, I have this small portion, which is of 3 units. So this side becomes x plus 3, right? So this side becomes x plus 3. And here also, I'm using this as 3 units here. Okay, so, so the sides are x plus 3. You can see that, correct? Okay, so that is how it is. So I have a figure which represents the area of left side of my equation, x square, and the area of this small portion of the rectangle is 3x, and here also it is 3x. So x square plus 3x plus 3x is x square plus 6x. Now, if you see this figure, you find that if I can somehow close this, I make a perfect square whose dimensions are x plus 3, right? So it is x plus 3 dimensions of a big square, right? So that is x plus 3. And if I add this particular square right in, I get a perfect square. And that is what we call as binomial square, right? So that is my binomial. Since I could represent the area of this square as x plus 3 whole square. You get the idea. So that is how we get our name completing the squares. Binomial square, the term which we have been using so long. I hope this picture is absolutely clear. It really helps to understand the whole process. How do we get 3? Three? 3 is half of 6, right? So 3 is actually half of 6. Perfect. And how much area did we add? If we talk about area, it is 3 times 3. So the area is actually 3 times 3, which is 9. So the area is actually square of this. Half of 6 square, right? Which is indeed 9. Perfect. So that is the whole concept about completing the squares and solving quadratic equations. I hope you understand and appreciate this part. Now let's continue. So what we will do here is we will add this area of 9. So in this case, how do we get 9? Half of 6 squared. Half of 6 is 3. 3 squared is 9. So we will add 9 on both sides. Left side, you can see, is a perfect binomial square, which I could write as x plus 3 whole square. And that is equals to 9 plus 1, 10. Now we can square root both sides and solve. So we get x plus 3 equals to square root of 10. Remember, square root of 10 should always be with plus and minus sign. So that gives us two solutions. One is x equals to minus 3 plus square root 10. And the other one is x equals to minus 3 minus square root 10. Correct? Now, so these are the two solutions for us. Right? And that value which I've shown here is exact solution. Right? This is, we say this is exact value. Right? We could also write it in decimals. 
to write it in decimals you can use calculator perfect so so you could write them in decimals also so let me do it in decimals also square root of 10 minus 3 is equals to in decimals 0 0.1622 so you get 0 0.1622 which we could round to two or three places if we are rounding to two places it'll be 0 0.16 right similarly we can do minus square root of 10 and uh, and to this we will say minus 3 so we'll do minus 3 equals to and with decimals we get minus 6.1622 which could be written as minus 6.16 right so these could be the answers correct to two decimal places right but anyway the concept here is if you have an quadratic if you have a quadratic equation which cannot be written as a perfect square you can make it a perfect square by completing squares concept is what i've shown here go through this video understand the concept and that solve such equations right so we can write down our answer so the answer for us is minus 3 plus minus square root of 10 and when we write like this it is the exact answer at times you may be required to write answer in decimals which could also be done using calculator i hope that helps thank you and all the best